we're going to make two of my favorite sauces. The first one is kind of a, you know, a classic old sweet, sticky, tomatoey sauce, which is the kind of thing you just love to have all over your chin and your cheeks and you to scratch out of your beard an hour later. This, when I, when I make this sauce, what I think about is I think of my mother parboiling chicken thighs, putting it on the grill and, and basting with this. It's a, it's a great standard, very traditional, kind of out of the bottle, but a lot better sauce. And it's got three primary ingredients, three primary ingredients, and then you can add whatever you want, pretty much. And the, the, the three elements that are, that are common always are uh, tomato, you, I'm using tomato paste, you can use ketchup, acid, in this case I'm using, I'm using uh, cider vinegar, but you can use a combination of cider vinegar and uh, lemon juice or all lemon juice or red wine vinegar and, and, and lemon juice and sweet. In this case, I'm using maple syrup because, you know, we're up here in the North Country and, and that's, uh, that's what we like to use up here. You can substitute brown sugar. White sugar is a little flat in, in its flavor, so uh, I kind of stay away from that. We could use honey. Honey is a great barbecue sauce uh, additive as well. So it's, it's tomato, acid, sweet, and then whatever else you want to put in it. What I like typically to make, because we want to keep this kind of generic and you can go from there, garlic powder, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce is another great ingredient, a little bit of salt, not as much salt as you might think because of course the soy sauce or the Worcestershire sauce is going to be very, is going to be very salty as well, and hot sauce or cayenne. So let's put it all together. This is really, really simple. One of the beauties of, of barbecue is its simplicity. So there's really not a lot of, there's a lot of time involved when you get to cooking things, there's not a lot of fussiness with the ingredients. And I'm using roughly one to one to one, the same amount of tomato, acid, and sugar, and then probably about half to a third as much of those other ingredients. Now I'm going to mix this up, and then we're going to taste it and add the heat because I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I like really hot stuff, but I like, you know, one of the things about barbecue is eating it with a bunch of people and I don't want to get some people out of the mix by making this too spicy. Ketchup mix is a lot easier. Tomato paste takes a little while, so we're going to stir this for a few minutes. I'm using a fork so I can use the tines of the fork to break up any clumps of tomato paste that, that remain in there. There we go. A little taste. Mmm. That's good. And this is, you know, I like basic stuff. This is actually Frank's Red Hot. I think it's got a great flavor for not a lot of heat. It's really, to use the word that a lot of people use, it's really accessible. Not a lot of people get turned off by Frank's. It's not the greatest hot sauce in the world, but it's pretty good. My mouth is watering. I am so think I am so thinking of chicken thighs with this on it. All right. Simple Simon. Oh, that'll do. Equal parts tomato, acid, sweet, garlic, and pepper, and something a little bit salty, some salty sauce, soy or, or uh, Worcestershire, a little bit of added salt, a little bit of heat. Never fails. That'll do, pig. Mm -hmm.